hydropathy plot or hydropathy index is a structure or diagram on which observation we can easily identify if a protein cross the lipid bilayer or transmembrane or not. Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern. I am Animesh and in this video I am going to discuss about hydropathy plot or hydropathy index. So basically hydropathy plot or hydropathy index is a diagram on which observation we can identify if a membrane protein that uh, span across the lipid bilayer or not. So basically the to determine the hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions of a particular protein sequence. So if we have a protein sequence of say for example 500 amino acids so 500 amino acids protein sequence so if a protein have 500 amino acids and this protein composed of hydrophilic hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic amino acids so if this protein consists of hydrophobic amino acids so this protein can be span across the plasma membrane okay so basically if this is a pro transmembrane protein so this transmembrane protein have three distinguished uh, sequences or three distinguished segments segments one is extracellular segment extracellular another one is cytosolic portion which spans the lipid bilayer this portion is known as transmembrane okay transmembrane transmembrane so whenever a protein sequence crosses the lipid bilayer so this lipid bilayer portion is hydrophobic in nature okay hydrophobic in nature so if a protein can cross this segment this protein or this segment of the protein should be hydrophobic okay so segment of protein which cross the lipid bilayer should be consists of hydrophobic amino acids so if a protein can cross this lipid bilayer so this segment of the protein consists or should be consist of hydrophobic amino acids so to determine these sequences if a protein actually crosses the transmembrane uh, portion or lipid bilayer or not we can identify a hydropathy plot or hydropathy index so we can plot a hydropathy plot index or hydropathy plot and after observing those hydropathy plot or hydropathy index we can conclude that the segment of the protein is cross the lipid bilayer or not so basically uh, the relative polarity of each amino acids has been determined by experimentally by measuring the free energy change so whenever a protein sequence or segment of the protein crosses the lipid bilayer there is a free energy change occur and by measuring this free energy change we can conclude that this segment uh, crosses the lipid bilayer or not so basically it is a plot just like this so this is the hydropathy index or hydropathy plot so this is the hydropathy plot okay so if we observe this kind of structure so we observe here uh, two segments is there one is positive one is positive another one is negative so positive and negative both values are there and the structure or diagram is sometimes positive and sometimes negative so if there is a negative value if the plot shows the negative value that means the segment is hydrophilic so negative value shows this hydrophilic segment okay and the positive value indicates the hydro hydrophobic segment 
and now we observe if a segment is hydrophobic that means the segment is in the lipid bilayer and if the segment is hydrophilic that means the segment is either extracellular phase or in cytosolic phase that means this portion is in aqueous environment okay this segments is in aqueous environment and hydrophobic portion shows that the protein crosses the lipid bilayer okay but here is one condition is there the spanning of this hydrophobic region should be 20 amino acid should be 20 amino acid as you observe here in this segment and this segment this is also hydrophobic region that also shows the positive value but we cannot tell that this portion or this segment of the protein cross the lipid barrier because it does not span across 20 amino acids okay so basically if there is a plasma membrane so if there is a plasma membrane and we observe this kind of value so we can conclude that there is a cytosolic portion of the protein next phase is that this portion is shows the hydrophobicity right so that means this portion this segment just insert into one leaflet but the span of this segment is five up to five to six amino acids and then it again shows the negative or hydrophilic activity that means this segment of the protein just entered in one leaflet and comes back to the again into the cytoplasm after that this portion again shows the hydrophilic activity that means the negative activity that means this portion is in the cytosolic phase and the next phase is that this segment this segment is shows the hydrophobicity right that means and the spanning of this segment is approx 20 so from here to here the spanning of this segment is approx 20 amino acids though that means this portion of this segment of the protein crosses the lipid bilayer or the plasma membrane and now comes to the extracellular phase and thus this portion again shows the hydrophilic in a, or negative energy and after that there is another peak is there that is the hydrophobic peak that means the protein again comes into the one leaflet or involves into the one leaflet and it again in the extracellular phase that means the portion which actually crosses the lipid bilayer or trans bilayer segment is shows in here okay so if we observe at least 20 amino acid residue hydrophobic peak that means positive value that then we can conclude that this segment is transmembrane segment so this segment is trans membrane segment okay so by plotting the proteins against hydropathy plot we can conclude that this segment is in the trans uh, membrane segment or the, the lipid bilayer segment and it actually is a alpha helix if we observe several structures so if we consider this is another hydropathy plot and we observed here several peaks are there or several positive peaks are there then we can conclude this this protein has three or more positive value that means this protein have crossed the plasma membrane three or more times that means it is in the beta plated sheet structure okay so here for instance if a stretch about 20 amino acid shows the positive for hydrophobicity so if here shows the positive for hydrophobicity these amino acids may be a part of alpha helix so in here in this structure we observe only one hydrophobic peak or only one positive peak that is 20 amino acid stretch that means it is in alpha helix structure and it spans across the plasma membrane and spanning across the lipid bilayer which is composed of hydrophobic amino acids so basically if a segment of the protein 
have to cross the plasma membrane then this segment of the protein should be hydrophobic amino acid or should be consist of hydrophobic amino acid because hydrophilic amino acid cannot cross the lipid bilayer only hydrophobic amino acid actually cross the lipid bilayer so after interpreting hydropathy plot we can conclude the protein or segment of the protein can cross the plasma membrane or lipid bilayer or not if you like that video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.